Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle R Position 2 featuring the Zero Shiki Type 2 AR or Amuro Ray. This unit is the modified version of the Zero Shiki, um, which of course was granted to Amuro Ray. Uh, it's an interesting support that comes in at the 550 cost, it's ground only with a ballistic resistance of 12, a beam resistance of 36, a melee resistance of 12, a range strength of 25, a melee strength of 30, surprisingly, a movement speed of a measly 115, and a thrust gauge of 60. For parts, we got close of 6, medium of 16, and long range of 10. For equipment, we have two options. We have the Clay Bazooka, which will stagger, or we have the Clay Bazooka Shrapnel, which shoots you know, basically like a long-range shotgun in a way. It can do some pretty decent damage, but my suggestion for most people is to go with the standard Clay Bazooka. We have the Zero Shiki Type 2 AR Beam Saber. It's a Beam Saber. You've seen them before, so let's move on. Head Mounted Vulcan Modified. It's okay. It's not very impressive, but hey, it does, it does fine. We have the Zero Shiki Type 2 Beam Rifle, or the Zero Shiki Beam Rifle, which is a fantastic addition. You can pump out some uh, real good damage with this, especially against toppled targets. Just pop some of those beams in their legs. We have the Knuckle Sealant Launcher, which is good to get a little bit of a stagger and to be annoying. And then we have the Beam Cannon. Not Beam Cannons, but the Beam Cannon, which um, is pretty decent, does some good damage, um, staggers, and is usable when flying. For skills, we have the High Performance Scope Level 2, Observational Data Link, uh, scouting Parallel Processing Device, Glide Structure Level 3, Wing Special Cushioning Level 2, Flight System Level 2, High Performance Balancers, which is fantastic, and High Spec Flight Control. In terms of this unit, in my opinion, I think this is a very well-built and uh, thought-out uh, support. It's fairly uh, sturdy for what it is. It could do a decent amount of damage. And with the flight, it can be kind of annoying, especially if it's firing down at you in, uh, in any given situation. So I do have to say that it's actually a fairly well thought out support that can be pretty obnoxious. Um, it does have some... Uh, weaknesses and you'll see that in the match being mostly its range this is a medium uh, well mid-ground support effectively it does best when it's kind of following up on generals and not sitting back super far at least that's how it performed in my experience so let's see how this does in the get match to come Hey everybody, welcome to the match. Uh, this one's a bit of a learning experience for me. I was not expecting much from uh, this unit, as I'm traditionally not that good with the kind of hover flying units. I'm more, uh, I'm more capable with the, f the ones that fly like a jet or a plane. Here we go. We but I can't say I was disappointed in this unit. So, as usual, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, using the uh, flying capability. Because, uh, well, one, you always want to be able to get a look at the ground ahead. The and, uh, well, we you take advantage of the flying. So I saw that guy buzzing off to the left. And I see the guy over there. And three's taking a fairly aggressive position. So I'm going to try to come up around here so I can support him as much as I can. Now, I didn't realize till later that this unit was more set for uh, mid-range as they shoot that guy in the face. Bam! And then hit him with the uh, clay bazooka. Um, so I was uh, not sure exactly what my range restrictions were. So I'm going to be using a lot of the Zero Shiki rifle and the clay bazooka. 
and uh, we're trying to back up three as best I can, but oh, and I don't want to tangle with that guy who's clearly a raid. <laughs> And uh, he's backed up by this guy whose legs are going to give out. And it's going to let me be able to take him out. And I'm going to try to uh, keep this guy pinned. But I'm going to end up getting knocked down and dropping into the water. Three's going to give me a little bit of space, thankfully, before he goes off to attack uh, the enemy team's uh, support. So we're going to fire, catch him in the legs get a few more shots in on him but he's gonna just smack us with that and we're gonna fall down this is gonna pretty much bring us to our first death of uh, destruction or loss of a suit if you prefer because uh, we're gonna get overrun and hit by that guy and we're just gonna get torn to pieces before we can do much of anything and we're dead Yay. So we're going to spawn in at the base here, and uh, one, because I was pretty sure that two and three were going to get taken out before I could really get in, and that way I could make sure I didn't run into uh, any stealth uh, raid you might notice. So I'm going to pop some rounds, and I'm going to start throwing some fire around trying to help, but the easy to uh, stagger rifle is going to help this uh, Garadoga Kai. And he's going to, of course, be one of the leg breaker types because what else could he possibly be? So we're going to hit him with the cylinder launcher. We're going to hold off and switching into some of the other things because I wanted to catch him with that bazooka. So we're going to pop a couple rounds and we're going to start getting pushed as a. Uh, well, one, their support's able to sit back and do anything he wants. And uh, two, <laughs> uh, my team is uh, mostly playing around the corner. So I'm just going to do what I can, and I'm going to take one heck of a beating. So I'm going to move over because Assault 2 is getting pushed. I'm going to help him counter push that guy a little bit. I'm trying to help out as much as I can. So I'm going to turn... I'm going to have my legs give out on me, because of course, get hit by a few rounds, regain that, get him, and we're going to take him out real quick, and then we're going to swing over using our uh, boost to get a little ground, fire into that guy, take his shield out, miss a couple shots, again, again, and then bam, got him. So that's two down, and I'm going to start trying to help push with my team here I'm just spamming rounds of course he's gonna shoot at me uh, my legs are almost gone at this point but I'm just gonna keep pushing because well what can you do so I see uh, there I believe one of the raids over here so I'm gonna push over a little bit just to make sure he doesn't come around on us but he doesn't and I'm gonna push back over here and I see they're pushing that guy I'm going to take a shot, but I'm going to miss. Miss again. Legs are going to give out. <laughs> and I'm going to take a shot, but he had his uh, invisibility up. But we're going to still get a couple good shots in on him. He's going to run away. I'm going to switch over, noticing the support still sitting there. And uh, I'm going to start throwing some fire his way, but I'm going to have to play careful because he could probably one-shot me right now. But I am keeping him from pointing at my uh, my guys because he's so intent on trying to shoot at me. There we go. We drew that shot out. We're just going to keep pestering him with this. Mostly because I'm trying to just do as much damage as I can and buy some time for number two to catch up so we're, we got him with those we're gonna wait for him to fall down pop that into him we're gonna see this guy fire take him out and then we're gonna switch back over I held uh, my shot because I wanted number two to get the kill but he waited a little too long and I was worried that he was gonna get in some shots at me so I just went out and took him out come in we're gonna start firing at this uh, Garadoga Kai Boom, there we go. Pop some rounds into him, wear him down as much as we can. And now he's gone. Effectively having killed himself in that instance. And my legs are gonna give out and I'm going to be gone. 
Shazam! Killed by tradition again. Alright, we're spawning our base again, and I see two is going to get knock knocked out. So I was trying to push over to, uh, to help back three up. So I'm going to wait, take a shot, and more or less act as a deterrent. Uh, the game's really, really close. So at this point, I just wanted to absorb some of the fire and effectively uh, keep them from taking anyone off. As well, for the most part, they're not going to kill me too easily. So I'm going to go in, take him out with a quick slash, or turn around, we're going to start throwing some rounds at this Gerdoga Kai, because it can be a fairly dangerous unit, but he's wasting a lot of shots on me, and I'm hoping to just put enough into him to not make him too much of a threat. I'm going to turn around because I see we got a bit of a threat going on here, but not hit anybody with that. And effectively, the raid's going to back out, and I'm going to help be able to dogpile the uh, support there. We're going to jump down, and we're going to go in for the slash, hit him there, and then someone else gets the final kill as the match ends. So let's see how we did. That's a lot of stuff, but it's still not too horrible on this suit. So we got two board spots and first place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.